Good evening, YouTube. This is Derek with Hank's Backyard Barbecue. Today, what I'm going to show you are just the three grills I have. I have two smokers. One is a smoker slash grill, if you'd like to do that. Uh, the other one is strictly a smoker, and then I have a pellet grill. Uh, I do use that for smoking. So let's take a look and see what I got. This is the Old Country Smokehouse Smoker. It's a vertical smoker. Uh, this is Academy's brand. It's sold at Academy. Uh, I have not found it any other place but Academy. Uh, we'll take a look at the inside here. So you've got three racks. One, two, three. And they're about two and a half by two and a half. You have six sausage hangers inside. Plenty of room for lots of sausage. You can make your own. Or just buy the store bought and hang it in here and smoke it. Got your water pan down here. The only downside is this smoker does not come with gauges. Uh, I did purchase these again from Academy. I'm not being sponsored by them. These right here that has spots for three. I left this one blank. I can, I can manage this smoker pretty good and get both of these pretty even. We'll take a look at the firebox. It does have one firebox vent. It does work well. And then here we have the uh, ash pan, fire pan. Ash comes down below and the slots down there. And we have a fold out tray here. Uh, it's currently next to my pit boss. I use my pit boss and my Weber table over the tray um, you have your wood tray down at the bottom keep it dry and off the ground it does have four wheels these front wheels do not rotate the wheels on the back end do and this is pretty heavy you do have your grease spout right here it is threaded if you want to add a valve does have a hook under there if you'd like to hang a, a bucket and handle for easy moving. Now, here's our vents up here. Those are about five inch stacks and they both open pretty good. And again, you can see right here, made in Mexico. Moving on, this is my Weber Premier. I believe this is a 2006 model. It's a 22 inch Weber kettle. And you do have your easy ash clean out right at the bottom here. So you, you take that handle and that bottom bucket comes right off. This is your bottom vent control here. Right now it's in the fully closed position. That side would be fully open. Let's take a look inside. This does have the lid holder. So you can take this and set it just like that. I'm not being sponsored by Weber or anything like that. And this is a great smoker. I was introduced to this uh, one of my friends on a barbecue page called North Texas Barbecue Addicts on Facebook. Uh, I originally bought a gold one from him. Fell in love with it, sold it, and bought this one. It is old. This fiberglass is kind of stained up. I have, you can't see it, but I have two of these charcoal trays in here. This grate does flip up, and this is, this is a separate accessory. I need to get in here and clean this out. And again, this is a 22-inch uh, Weber Kettle Premier. Probably my favorite uh, smoker to smoke on. Now we'll go on to the Pit Boss. Well, you've seen all I got. Uh, that Pit Boss stays covered up most of the time. It has a nice cover. Uh, pit Boss customer service is fantastic. The cover I bought uh, started getting a hole in it. Uh, so I called them. I said, hey, this cover's getting a hole. They sent me out a brand new one, free of charge. Uh, before I put that Rectech controller in there, I was having trouble with the first controller. I called them, let them know they sent me out a free controller, free of charge, brand new. Didn't charge me a thing. Um, and those are really the only two issues I've had with that smoker. My paint hasn't started peeling, uh, but I take care of it. I keep it covered up. Um, I'm sure most of y'all probably saw I did take the safety guard out of the pellet hopper. 
uh, it just makes things easier for me. I did used to switch my pellets, uh, but now I don't. I let it get to about where it's at now. If I want to put a new flavor in there, I'll put a new flavor and mix it all around. Um, but it doesn't get used very often unless I make hot sauce. Um, my Weber is my go-to for something quick. Uh, in the old country, Smokehouse is gonna be my new, it, it's still new to me. I need to get the hang of it. Um, and I'm hoping that this new fire arrangement I have in the firebox will uh, hold a little bit longer for me and last a little while. But we'll find out in another video on that when I do my daughter's first birthday cook. Thank y'all, y'all have a good night. Be sure to like, subscribe, Share this video, hit that bell, there's more coming. Y'all have a good night.